Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today I'll be getting um, Libra's messages for the upcoming week, the first week in October. I'm actually kind of late posting this, so it'll probably be tomorrow, right? Anyway, before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is pull some angel numbers. So, um, you know, hopefully the message resonates um, with you. I'll post the meaning in the comments after I post the video, okay? So your number for today is 1, 3, 4, 1. 1, 3, 4, 1. And uh, I'm going to write that down, I think. One, three, four, one, and uh, I'll just get started right away here. And uh, got the cards. All right, Libra, here we go. The Hermit, Virgo Energy. Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Okay, so it looks like there's some kind of a choice, some kind of a decision that you have to make. And you're trying to go inside, you're trying to listen to your intuition, you're trying to figure out what choices you should make. You, you're looking for answers, but you have a lot of options. It looks like you've been working really hard towards something. You, you know, you planting seeds and you're waiting for, for your, um, you know, plants to grow. You're waiting for the harvest. Oh, it figures. Of course, as soon as I get started, right? But anyway, um, so it looks like whatever you're working on, whatever you're, you've been working towards, whatever decision you have to make, it's going to be a success. Um, but Three of Pentacles says that you're going to be working with someone soon. It's the teamwork card. It's cooperation. It's collaboration. So, but you're definitely going to be working with somebody um, towards, I guess, a goal. Um, but it's going to be victorious. So let's get some more cards and see what happens. All right. Oh, the tower. Nine of Wands. The Sun. And Six of Cups. Okay. So there's going to be a tower moment. That's going to be sudden change, um, some kind of a disruption, some kind of. I don't know. It could be an argument or a fight. It just could be like something that crumbles. It could be a breakup. It could be some kind of a loss. It's just something that has to get out of the way so that the new can come in for you. I, I, I'm, I'm getting the feeling that somebody is not going to like the decision that you, that you had to make, the choice. Because you're looking for answers here and you have options here. So, and then you, ha then comes this tower moment. So something's going to be unhappy with you, but you, you know, you just got to press your fear through it. Do what's best for you. You're going to get your son, which is complete happiness and joy. It, you could be working with somebody from your past, whatever this is, is could be like an old friend or somebody coming back into your life to give you some advice or, or, or I don't know, somebody, somebody from your past is returning. So well, let's get some more cards. Let's see where this is going to go. Okay. 
and you got focus on your priorities take divinely guided chance take a divided guidedly chance and God is your source all right so I'm gonna read the cards they're a little wordy but here we go where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome your priorities are calling you calling to you which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention that you and they deserve even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident so this is saying just focus don't have your energy scattered all over the place you have a goal in mind or at least whatever choice you had to make you know there's things that have to get done towards that choice so focus on that like that's going to lead you to your happiness so put your energy there take a divinely guided chance all positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories as you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities so again, this is kind of like talking about this tower moment. Yeah, there might be a tower moment because of the choice that you make, but it's worth, it's going to be worth the risk. You know, it, it's, if you want to find your son, if you want to find your happiness, then take the risk. Okay. God is your source. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God and your faith opens the doorway to receive. In God, there's no lack or limitations. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. So, in other words, like, believe and you can have your dreams, you know? You can have your heart's desire as long as you believe you can have it. God is here supporting you. There, You don't have no lack mentality. Don't think, oh, I, you know, I can't have love because I don't have enough money yet or something like that. Like, no, don't think about that. That's... That's lack mentality. You, there's never a perfect moment. Well, that's not true, but, um, you know, there's lots of per perfect moments, but like the time is always when you're guided. That's, that's when the time is, you know, and the universe nudges you. So, you know, if they're nudging you to act on something over and over again, then, you know, it's time for you to act on it. All right, let's get two more cards. White Witch and Great Teacher. Come on, come back. All right. So the White Witch says, be the light. So what does that mean? It means take the high road and choose the light you know remove yourself from lower energy experiences you know when no matter what's happening to you or around you you have a choice and the best choice right now they're saying is to choose not to be pulled into any kind of drama or any kind of bickering um like it, something's happening right there's going to be a tower moment so it's saying just try to stay as above it as much as you can you know don't get pulled into the dirt that's not where they want you to be they want you to be love and light if you can <laughs> sometimes it's hard we're human and then you got a great teacher and it says know that what is happening around you is divinely inspired learn from your current experiences right so you know, no matter what you're going through right now, it's, it's happening for a reason, right? So they're forcing you to make a choice. It looks like because something's got to move. You've been stuck. It looks like you've been stuck for a while and you got, you got to do something. You got to make a move. So they're forcing your hand a little bit by saying, now's time. Now's time to make that decision. You have options. What are you going to do? And you know that once you choose the way your heart is telling you to go, there's going to be a tower moment. 
So you just got to learn from it. You know? I'm looking for signs. Signs or messages from from the divine. I, I really feel like they they are trying very hard to reach out to you and let you know um, what you should do. It feels like you're asking for help and they're trying to give it to you. So there's that. All right. So I'm going to get you, um, what is it? A divine feminine card. Let's see who's working with you next week. You got Mary, mother of God. I am blessed. My courage gave birth to the divine. Okay. So that's, that's amazing. Mary is very loving and sweet and nurturing. She's a, an amazing energy, right? She comes to you with nothing but unconditional love. She wants you to know that you're loved and, and that you're worthy of love and that you're, you're going to get love. She's just this warm, comforting presence. And she's going to come through for you next week. And she's going to help you make this decision. She's going to help you know that it's the right choice for you. That it's going to bring you your happiness. That's all she wants you to know. I mean, she wants you to work through your fears. I mean, imagine. She, she was pregnant as a teenager. Right? Can you imagine how scared she was when, you know, she was told she was having God's son, if that's what you believe? Um, you know, she was probably scared out of her mind, but she pushed through it and she became, um, recognized for being the loving soul that she is. So anyway, that's all I'm saying is know that you are loved, know that you are being guided and, and, uh, supported. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. All right, so changes are definitely happen to be made. Um, like I said, you probably have options. You need to choose the option that's going to make you the happiest. You have to put you first in this. And dealings with up uh, dealings or relationship with a woman with dark hair or complexion. So. Somebody might be coming into your life or you might be working with somebody with dark hair or, or maybe somebody with dark hair is in your life already. Um, you know, could be your mom, could be your sister, could be your friend, could be anybody. But just somebody with dark hair is in your life. Moving forward, get ready for positive change. All right, well, they're saying change is coming, whether you want it or not, it's coming. It has to, you've been stuck too long and, and they're making changes for you. So, uh, get ready, Libra. <laughs> That's all I have for you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel because that makes me very grateful. Thank you. And until next time, love and light.